From Hollywood, California, this is Simpty 2016 Live, produced by Broadcast Beat. Welcome to Broadcast Beat. I am your host, Brooks Forster, and we are at the 2016 annual SIMTI Technical Convention and Exhibition. And we are with Corey here from Baylor University. You traveled all the way here from Texas, Corey. We really appreciate you coming. Tell me, how long have you been going at this? Well, I've been going at this from the SIMTI standpoint since 1974. We were talking about this at lunch. For us old timers that have been in SIMTI for a long time, we have actually been a member of this society much longer than we have, let's say, our current jobs. You know, throughout our career, we may have changed yeah. different types of companies that we work for within the industry, but one thing hadn't changed, and that is our loyalty and our membership at SIMTI. So there's something really important about that, and we're looking forward to the future, which is why, as an educator now, after working in the industry, I am so excited about SIMTI's emphasis, one of its pillars is really education. Yeah, so uh, there's a couple of things to unpack there, Corey. Thank you for, sure. first of all, I think few organizations make it to 100 years. We are celebrating the centennial uh, this year without, of course, being a great organization. You just don't make it to 100 years. You don't stick around. And I am younger than that, I'll tell you yeah, that. that is <laughs> you don't look a day <laughs> over. I'm day over. younger than, but I'm younger than that. Perfect. Well, you, as far as the education standpoint, like from an education standpoint, what are you doing with your students and how is SIMTI kind of evolving and, and moving in the, the future of education? Well, one of the things about Baylor University, where I'm teaching, is that we started our actual chapter in 1984. So from 1984, we saw right away the incredible involvement that we could get from industry professionals who really want to give back. One of the best ways that they have given back to us at Baylor and to all the student chapters is by actually coming and actually doing an entire program that's dedicated really to them wanting to educate students. So the student chapters are an important part of, of, of SIMPTI, and at Baylor it's one of the highlights for us because we encourage our students to become members, and with that membership comes not only networking, but opportunities for them to be able to learn so much that will help them within the industry itself. That's great because without that, you're not really getting a hands-on education, and with that funding and that backing, uh, they really are advancing the education. They come out of school knowing a lot more. Uh, you know, some, some occupations, it's a lot of hands-on work experience that you get. You're coming out of that, that experience with some already technical skills, it sounds like to me. Is that, is that assumption correct? That assumption is 100%. In fact, we're going to go beyond that a little bit, and we're going to tell you how much the dedication from the industry professionals has really affected the students. And we have done some cutting-edge joint research with other SIMPTI fellows that have allowed our students to work on the most cutting-edge areas of technology, and we've documented that. So we actually have videos that are produced that show how we are working hand in glove with SIMPTI and with the SIMPTI fellows to really push the cutting edge of all sorts of uh, frontiers in the new technology arena. One of the most beautiful things that's happened in recent years, and it started really as a showcase, which allowed for our universities and other universities that were, you know, that were here to uh, really showcase the student work. And when they did that, and they showcased the technology that they used inside that work, it evolved into a full-fledged student-based international festival that now has been multiplied by the number of entries this year. It is so exciting. This week, we're going to showcase the work of the future of entertainment, the future of the technology, meeting the artist in the most incredible domains possible, including VR. So to be able to, within the last three years, go from a showcase to this full-fledged juried and, and participatory type yeah. event is really phenomenal. Now, I wish we had more time, Corey, because you just touched on something, VR, we're going into that world, there's not a real clear path of what's gonna happen. How do our viewers find more about what you're talking about specifically and or VR, like where, where are some resources we can guide them to? Social media, websites, what's the deal? So here's my pitch about why everybody should join SIMTI, okay? Okay. One of the most important things is the educational outreach includes online forums that they could be a part of. So if they want to see what the future is or even how they could understand more workflow, even in an area like VR, they can do that in such an incredible way by having experts that will be willing to share the most important information that they would need to know in order to get started. And so for any student, that's fantastic. For anybody that's in the industry, that's fantastic. Yeah. And for any educator, it's a must. 
basically, I mean, you can go to Baylor University and get links to, to our student chapter, see what we're doing there. Yeah. But the general thing for SMPTE is going to be www.SMPTE.org. Awesome. Well, you guys heard it right here. Be sure to check it out and see what's happening in the world of the future. Corey, hey, thanks for stopping oh, by and chatting with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for spending time, and thank you for inviting me to come and be here with you. You bet. Thanks. You bet.